It's just so poisonous. How do people eat this? Are you crazy? Jump. Good morning, world. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. I haven't uploaded many videos recently and I wanted to change that. I wanted to start uploading videos more regularly. I'm going to try and get up two videos every week, one during the week, one at the weekend. That is the plan. If it goes wrong, sorry. The reason I'm struggling to film so many videos is because I've just started work and that means... so they can be uh, confusing. Sen ya goa til tunnelbanen och ya goa til min jobba. Ya slutar min jobb på kanske klockan 16. Så ya åka tillbaka till hem kanske klockan 17. Men i i dags vlogg. I thought I would do a video that I think a lot of you are going to enjoy. It's something I've never done before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try some weird and wonderful Swedish candy. A word of warning, I'm not much of a candy eater. I don't have much of a sweet tooth, so uh, I might struggle with quite a few of these things. I've picked up an assortment of different types of candy to try. I've tried to pick things that are traditionally Swedish or specific to Sweden, or at least prominent here in Sweden, so that it's something I haven't tried before. A big thank you to Elin, who provided a lot of ideas for what I should try, so thank you very much to you. If these are disgusting, I'm also gonna blame you though, so I guess it works both ways. So, let's get started. Wish me luck. So the first thing I'm gonna try is this Kex. Whenever I see this in the shops, it always reminds me of this music video. What you talking about? I'm talking about the Swedish word Kex. Cookie? Yeah, cookie. Some idiots are calling it Shix. Shooky? Yeah, shooky. If you haven't already seen that video, go and watch it. It's very, very good. It will be stuck in your head all day. Everybody have a Swedish speaker. So yeah, the first thing I'm gonna try is this Kex. It is chocolate something. Okay, here we go. Oh, quite good. I so I don't eat much chocolate, but this is pretty nice. This is kind of like a kind of like a Kit Kat. Yeah, this is good. Mmm. The second thing I'm going to try, I bought mainly for the name, which I think may be funnier in English than Swedish, perhaps. This chocolate bar is called Plop. Hmm. I mean, I'll let you make up your own jokes about this if you want to, but it is milk chocolate with a toffee filling, so it's got a lot to live up to with the Kex. Okay. Mm. I'm not much of a toffee man myself, but I think as toffee chocolate goes, plops the one. The next thing is some salt licorice. They absolutely love licorice here in Sweden. This is sugar free, so pretty good. I don't know that I've ever had licorice. So here goes nothing. Oh my god. What a good question. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. <coughs> oh. How do people eat that? Oh, it's gross. Sweet, is it all that bad? Oh. Jeez. Right. <laughs> Salt licorice. Ah, ah. This is the next thing, Jungle's rule, which means roars. I don't really know what they are, other than the fact that they've got a picture of a crazy monkey on them. But um, here we go. Oh, is this also licorice? Uh... Oh my god, it's just... It's just so poisonous. How do people eat this? Are you crazy? Thank God I got a cup of tea. Ooh. That is absolutely disgusting. 
So the next thing are these Turkish pebbles, I presume. Turkish pier there. I'm slightly worried that there are three flames on there, and on the back, three flames says hottest. Don't deal particularly well with hot things. So let's see. It can't get much worse than the licorice. I'm telling you. Here goes nothing. Fine so far. Mm. What is this? It tastes like aniseed. Oh, it just tastes like sambuca if you've ever had that. Oh, it's not, it's not spicy, but it's, oh, it's a little bit spicy. Mainly, it's just gross. Oh, oh, I can't finish it. Can I? Can I? Mm. Oh, it's so horrible. Why is it all so horrible? And that's not all. I've actually got more than that. And now it's time to pick some gourds from here. Let's hope I get some good stuff. Let's hope it's nice. So here it is. I've got the three gourds. First thing I'm going to try is this, which is called a dumlet. I have no idea what this is. It's chocolate. It's just chocolate with some kind of caramel inside or something. Oh, is this nice to watch on camera? Me picking everything out of my teeth. I can't get over the fact that people eat licorice. So this was called like salty seal or something. Seal is like pickled herring. So this is like a salted fish, I think. Please, please be nice. Whoa. Why does everything have salt on it? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Next thing is something called a mulzhua. It says grade cola, so maybe it's a sour cola flavored. Looks like a toffee or a fudge. Oh, it's fudge. That's really nice. That's really nice. Finally, Sweden, finally. <laughs> Next thing is this weird looking skull, which says bubs on it. Why? 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 <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I thought candy was supposed to be nice. Right, there are lots more things in here, but I'm just gonna, I don't know how much more I can take, so I'm gonna try one more. Bubs, some banana thing that says bubs on it. I mean, it's fine. It's good. And it's a banana. But at least it doesn't have salt on it, which is a good thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed that because I most certainly did not. Sweden, I knew you put salt in all your food, but why are you putting it in your candy as well? Are you crazy? I honestly could not finish half of the things. It was pretty disgusting. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Sorry to anyone in Sweden who makes candy. If you'd like me to do another one of these kinds of videos, let me know which candy or food of any kind I should eat. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to watch more like it, then please click on my face up there and that will let you subscribe. And as always, if you'd like to watch another video straight away, then click that one there. It's been specially selected just for you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you when I see you.